One of the advantages of having the set already built is that I was able to create an identical set on the computer. I used a program called Frameforge to create a storyboard and we basically knew exactly what every single shot was going to look like before we even got to shooting. Once the idea was solid, Joe looks at me from his desk and he pitches me this idea about doing the entire thing with motion control. And we just happened to be very close to camera control. They have these wonderful machines that we've worked with in the past for the KitKat video. And it looks like this, that's the Milo, it's a big guy. And they have a smaller machine called the Modula that can actually fit in the tight spaces that we had to navigate around. Motion control basically works kind of like the camera on a tripod. Yeah, it has the same principle. So if you were trying to make a clone like we've done in a lot of videos before, on a tripod, all you have to do is shoot a person on one side of the screen, then don't move the camera, put them on the other side of the screen, put those two pieces of footage together on top of each other, and crop it. As long as the background is the same on both sides, you can make that crop seamless. So we take that same principle and we apply it to a repeatable motion arm that essentially gives us the exact same move from the camera as many times in a row as we want. So we can do take after take after take and the camera will always do the same exact thing. Now that we have two pieces of footage that move exactly the same, we can put them on top of each other and animate the masks so that you can see two people at the same exact time. Or we can just do jump cuts from one shot to the other, and the person will pop from one side of the screen to the other. And we decided to do both on this short film.